Lost another one. What? Hey! Patience can't go this far. Wait, you're not from the manor. Sorry for the stern healer voice. We have a crisis at Steadfast Manor and I'm frustrated. A mysterious affliction is weakening our patience. We're powerless against it. Steadfast Manor belongs to Lord Bacaro Valoris. He shares his home as a place of healing for both body and soul. Wounded from all sides in the Three Banners War recover here. But if this malady continues to spread, we may have to shudder it. Steadfast Manor isn't just a hospice. It's a place of reconciliation. Lord Bacaro sees our work here as a means to end the war. Perhaps you could help with our problem. Surely you've solved mysteries before. We can reward you for your efforts. I so appreciate your help. Even if you don't know alchemy or healing magic, just helping us learn more could be immensely useful. Go talk to Armin Damal at the manor. He's been looking into this malady. You can find him by the south gate. You there. Can we speak for a moment? You look healthy. Walking about on your own. No shadows in your eyes. You're better off than most of the patients here. Which means you're just who I need. Our patients have fallen prey to a strange malady. We could use some help. Ah, good. Then I can skip trying to convince you. But I promise to pay fairly should we succeed. I need to track down this affliction's source. Only patients at the manor seem affected. So I assume the cause must be nearby. Sadly, very little. The menders stay busy tending to the afflicted, and the patients don't quite trust me enough to talk freely. So I need you. If you track down the cause of this malady, perhaps the menders can do something about it. I'd suggest you talk to some patients who are feeling its effects. Try Arabil Vools by the fountain, or Malagi. He likes to watch the sea. Oh, and speak with Mender Talil, too. She's inside. I'll be waiting upstairs when you're done. This work isn't going to do itself. I was told they weren't taking new patients, not until they figured out what's going on. Still, welcome to Steadfast Manor. I'd offer a tour, but... I don't quite feel up to it. Haven't slept in days. I can barely stand up straight. Affliction? Oh, a good word for it. I can feel it wearing away at my mind. After days without sleep, my thoughts are cloudy. I'm... I'm a shell of myself. Menda Roslin's tonics help some. She knows what she's doing. Unlike some here. Master Healer Verilane only manages the symptoms. He sedates us or just offers comforting words, but he won't seek out the root cause. Rosalind studied this affliction. She believes it's a curse of the humors, but she needs more research. a calming vista, yes? The sound of waves lapping at the shore always used to bring me lucky peace. But now, eh, this one believes so. Milagi was beginning to feel strong. He planned to return to his family in Rimen. Then, uh, at dinner one evening, Milagi could not catch his breath. His heart pounded, his vision darkened. Only Mendel Roslin could calm him. Mender Roslin is a master of alchemical remedies. She mixed a powder into Milagi's tea that calmed the storm. Yesterday, Roslin told this one she might have a cure for his sickness. A new potion that looked promising. Uh, but she has disappeared.
I'm sorry, but I can't talk any longer. I do wish to help any way I can, but the patients need me, especially in Rosalind's absence. A good luck in your search for the affliction's cause, and alert me if you stop feeling strange. Interesting. Well, he's a good man. If he thinks you can help, then you can stay. But if you start hearing voices or seeing strange things, tell me straight away. A shame that Menda Rosalind's not here to speak with you. We truly need her. I'm afraid not, and that worries me. You see, Roslyn isn't one to abandon her duties, and some patients have vanished as well. Just gone from their beds when we check on them. I shouldn't talk about this. People are upset already. But we might find something in there we can use. You've made your... Maybe you heard. My talk with Master Healer Vera Lane was unproductive. He always sticks to procedure. No sense of urgency with that one. Well, how did you fare? Learn anything from the patients? Everyone respects Mender Roslyn. She's got a rare combination of kindness and skill. And between you and me, she plays a strong game of cards. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen her in a while. Where could she be? <laughs> Strange that this affliction shows up at the same time people start disappearing. I don't believe in coincidences. Why didn't Vera Lane tell me about this? Sure, I'm not a member of the Society, but still. Anything else? Then we need to get into the dispensary. That's where Rosalind worked. Hmm. Vera Lane has a key, and so does Mender Aldvar. Get the dispensary key from one of them, and go take a look around. I'll keep watch while you're inside. Good day, stranger. Did I just see you speaking with my friend Armin? He's one of our most noteworthy successes at Steadfast Manor, or so I believe. How terrible shame. Roslyn was one of our best healers. Incredibly talented. Her loss has really made things hard around here. But we're doing the best we can. What can I do to help? I'm afraid that's out of the question. I'm sure you have good intentions, but our dispensary is full of sensitive, even dangerous materials. It's imperative nothing there be disturbed. Lives depend on it. Hard to argue with that. She is a talented healer. Perhaps more than I am. Very well. If you think it may help, then take this key and have a look. Please do your utmost to keep things as they are. I suppose I could use another break. Sorry, Mender. It's uh, closed for cleaning. Don't worry, I'll let you know when it's open again. Shouldn't be long. You almost done in there? I can't keep this up forever. Ah, there you are. Find anything? I can't believe that mender fell for the old closed for cleaning line. Well, did you find anything? Can I see it? This is Rosalind's, all right. Hmm. An illness related to vampirism? 
I might not have any more book learning than you need to swing a sword, but I think I would have noticed a vampire hanging around. What's going on here? I can see that. And look, here's something about harpy feathers. If Rosalind went looking for harpy nests, maybe we should too. She says the nests are nearby. Shouldn't be hard to find. Beware of the harpies. They can be vicious. I'd go with you, but I don't dare leave the patients alone with the menders. Or with each other. Not if they're fighting off some kind of vampire sickness. You're not Vera Lane. My name is Seraphin. I am what you see, although I long to be free of this curse. What are you doing in this awful place? Roslyn? She tried to free me, but Vera Lane returned and overpowered her. This is his laboratory. He experiments on me, hoping he can use my blood to heal the wounded. It's madness. I'm afraid he drugged Roslyn with my blood. My blood? My strain of this curse induces deep dreaming. When I bite someone, they later fall into a deep sleep with horrific nightmares. A concentrated dose of my blood has the same effect immediately. I hate what my hunger does. 
She sleeps in the next chamber, but soon she'll awake with my curse. There's a vial of my blood in the laboratory across the hall. We can use it to create an antidote. Release me, please. Thank you. I... I need a moment to recover my strength. Verilane's notes are in the laboratory if you need help with the antidote. I'll meet you at Rosalind's side. I haven't fed in a long time, and I shouldn't be alone with her. Oh, my head. Who are you? Did Seraphin send you? Who are you, stranger? And where am I? What's happened? Viralane? Surely you're joking. Why would... Wait, it's coming back to me. I was looking for harpy feathers in the forest, but a blood fiend attacked me. I fled into this cave and I found Seraphin here in a cage, but then... Oh, my head. That's horrible. No wonder I noticed traces of vampirism. Yes, vampire blood can speed recovery, but it's very risky. I know Vera Lane thought our methods were slow, but still. We must confront him. Together, if Seraphin's willing. Oh, thank you. My mind is a little foggy yet. We should head back immediately. I have to check on my patients. And perhaps add Seraphin to them. I think I can cure her if that's what she wants. I'm so glad it worked. Is she going to be all right? At least I finally did something good with this curse of mine. I hope she takes down that monster Verilane and makes him pay for all this. Oh, I'm so angry I could rip his throat out. No, that's my curse, not me. I need to end this, somehow. Of course I'll help. Anything to bring that monster down. Even if it means allowing others to see what I am. All right, I'll make my way there. Sometimes Vera Lane said that the mere sight of my eyes unnerved him. Well, he's seen nothing yet. Rosalind, right? I am so, so sorry about this. If I hadn't been so weak, I would have... Everything's going to be fine. Come to the manor. Perhaps I can help you. Help me? What do you want? I had to do it, Roslyn. It was the only way to guarantee their recovery. You were poisoning them, Alexis. Look around you! Oh, I suppose you're here to fling more baseless accusations at me, too. Who are you to speak against me? What do you know of the work I do here? Such smugness. You may get rid of me, but doing so will spell doom for dozens of those poor souls out there. My methods were unconventional, yes, but they would have worked! The regrettable means to a greater end. The vampire will live forever, but those people outside won't. If one suffers so that many more can go on to lead full lives, what of it? I could have saved hundreds, no, thousands more. In time, I would have perfected it. In time, it would have been safe. Sometimes we have to make hard choices. How can you not understand that? I'm done talking. Do what you will with me, but I'll be proven right. You'll see. Unbelievable. 
I guessed it was... So let me make sure I've got this right. Vera Lane's been dosing our patients with vampire blood as some sort of medical experiment? And he was ready to kill Rosalind to cover it up? You've got proof, right? Nightmares, abductions, mad experiments. Vera Lane has much to answer for. Thank you, adventurer. We're doing good work here. And because of you, we can start again and do it right. The Society of the Steadfast is in your debt. Thanks to you, I think these soldiers may actually see their families again. And maybe they'll take the lessons of this manor and do their part in bringing the war to an end one day. Alexis Viralane, I swear by the Society of the Steadfast, you will answer for your crimes. The Steadfast. I thought you were willing to do what it took to end this war. Clearly, I was wrong. <laughs>